A twist of words. Understanding the irony in English. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel where we strive to make English learning fun and engaging. Today, we're going to dive into an exciting topic. Irony. Yes, you heard it right. We're delving into the realm of humor, and irony plays a pivotal role here. Irony is a powerful linguistic tool that adds a twist to our speech and writings. So, let's get started. First, let's understand what irony means. Irony is a form of expression where the intended meaning is opposite to the literal meaning of the words used. It's like a secret code of language, used to express something other than and especially the opposite of the literal meaning. It is often used for humor, emphasis, or just to make a point more interesting. Now that we know what irony is, let's dive into the types of irony. There are three main types of irony we come across in English. Verbal irony, situational irony, and dramatic irony. Each of these types has a unique way of adding a twist to the story or conversation. Verbal irony is when what is said is opposite to what is meant. It's a way of saying something in jest, sarcasm, or just for humorous effect. For example, when you see someone lounging around all day and you say, Wow! You sure have been busy. The literal meaning is contradicted by the context, creating verbal irony. Situational irony happens when the actual result of a situation is totally different from what you'd expect. Think of a fire station burning down. That's situational irony. It's the universe's way of adding a comedic or dramatic twist to the events in our lives. Finally, we have dramatic irony. This type of irony is largely used in literature, films, and plays where the audience or reader knows something that the characters in the story don't. Like when we, the audience, know who the villain is in a mystery movie, but the protagonist is still unaware. That's dramatic irony, enhancing suspense and engagement in storytelling. And there you have it. A whirlwind tour of the world of irony. Remember, Irony adds an extra layer of expression and meaning to our language. Understanding and using these types of irony not only will make you sound more natural and idiomatic in English, but it can also give you a greater appreciation for the complexity and beauty of the language. So, don't be afraid to start incorporating irony into your English. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.